Hey guys, uh, Grout Crew here again. Um, after a few takeouts and uh, repositioning my um, screen, I got this taken care of. Alright, uh, this tutorial assumes that you have already installed and know how to use Winamp uh, to play music. Um, it also assumes that you have got the DSP plugin off the Shoutcast website and installed it. Um, but if you do not have that, uh, please look at the website you have got this video on. There is most likely going to be a link or a link back to my website with the information how to get those or just download links. Um, okay, first we want you, I want you to inst or open up WinApp. Um, I have a bunch of, of little windows, but let me get it sorted out into a little bit of a um, organized mess here. Uh, first, if you first I want you to open up your Shoutcast DSP plugin. If you do not know how to do this because you just installed it, that is perfectly fine. I am actually going to run you through it. Uh, let me go ahead and organize my uh, windows here. All right. Now, if this is not that's your DSP source, that's actually not going to be there when you first load it up. You need to go to Options, Preferences, down here in Plugins, and go to DSP slash Effect. Then you click on No Soft Shoutcast. This one right here. And after you click that, it should open up, and I'll drag it to a viewable location for you guys. Um, this this part is very self-explanatory. Uh, it's very simple to actually stream your own radio. Um, and it's very easy to learn how, and I hope you guys learn how. Uh, basically, all you need to do is contact your administrator or whoever the administrator of your radio is, and get the the information from them, and if you could DJ or not. Uh, basically, my information for my server would be 192.168.1.10 for the IP address, and then the port number would be 1337. And then my password is Chicken Pickles. This is just some random password that I thought of to connect to the stream. Then you want to set your encoder. This is important because you want to set your encoder to something that's not being used. Typically, one's the default, but I set mine to three because I use output three. So I want to use encoder three. It doesn't really matter how you have it organized. I just did this for the tutorial's sake. Uh, you want to select your encoder type to MP3. Select MP3 and then change your settings. The higher this number here, the better it sounds. But the problem is, the better it sounds, the more bandwidth it's going to take. I recommend for most Shoutcast users to start around here and then make their way down if, com if listeners complain that the stream is laggy. Uh, most people would be either in this range, you can be able to DJ in this and play in Shoutcast or play in uh, Second Life okay, and it can go all the way down to here for really crappy quality. But I recommend you do 128, 96, or 64 are general ones to say around. Not 128, 96 sound very or good quality, 64 starts sounding crappy quality. I'm going to select uh, 96 kbps or ni the 96 uh, kilobits per second because I know my my, uh, my network can handle that and that's what I'm set to. Um, back over here, after we have all this set up, it should look somewhat similar like this. We also want to go to the yellow pages and um, you want to set the description to your DJ name. Mine's going to be DJ Grauk. Then you want to set your URL. I'm going to leave my blank, but you can type any URL you want. It's just a little reference URL for uh, the administrator. Um, now, after you do that, you want to hit connect. Now, say I have an error and I mistype my password, it'll tell me valid, invalid password, so you type that. If you get the IP address or port wrong, it'll take a few seconds to time out. But I got that correct, so it's going to automatically connect. Now, if you're not playing any music, you're not playing any anything at all, then you're going to have this just sent zero bytes, and that means you're not playing anything at all. Um, right now, I'm going to play a really quick song. Let's see. Let's just find something here. Um, I don't know. I haven't listened to many of this music, much music here, but we'll just throw something on here. Uh, this one's good. So as I start playing music, you see this start going. This means you're p basically streaming. You're putting music, you're putting sound in the air. Now, the music plays comes here. There's also other options you can do in Winamp. To, to use your voice chat on the radio like most DJs do, you want to switch this to sound card input. And you want to lock this down. And when you talk, it'll be streaming your music. Or streaming your voice, excuse me. Um, you can tell this because the little bars right here are going up and down as I say things. Um, and this really doesn't matter because if this is held down, my configuration is a little messed up. But I usually leave some lock and then I go switch back and forth. So such as if this song is almost over, I come up here. Once it's over, I would stop the song. I would go to sound card input and say, hey, guys, this is DJ Grauk, uh, DJing for you on my radio. I hope you enjoy my tutorials. Uh, take a look at it. Um, please tip me in the tip jar if necessary. That's what's for it. Um, this next song will go ahead and be Earthshaker. 
with uh, Odd World. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, name's Grout Karu. Hit me up on uh, Second Life and enjoy the show. And then you switch this back there and just click play again. And that's how easy it is to DJ. Um, it takes a few seconds to get used to it, but that's it in a nutshell. Um, please vi visit my next tutorial, and it should be over how to set up your own radio server without paying the high fees. Enjoy.